And here's Nina. <laughs> Welcome to Prayer for America Special Edition. This is Wednesday, December uh, December 16th. <laughs> it's the 12th month. It's the 16th day of this of the year of our Lord 2020. Mm -hmm. So God Amen. richly bless you. God is good. God is blessing. God is answering prayer. And we want to lift you up before the Lord this evening. We've come on a little earlier to surprise you. So mm -hmm. you may catch us uh, later if you were not able to get on right now. But let me just say, we've got uh, so many people responding all over the country and people in various nations of the world. And we want to encourage you to continue to pray for this country. America needs revival and we need a move of God. Some of you may be a little disappointed. Some of you may be discouraged. Let me tell you, Jesus has not changed. His power has not changed and his will hasn't changed. So right. um, Nina, what did you have? Uh, yeah, today? just reading the Bible this morning. This is what the Lord laid on my heart was um, Psalms 46 verses one through nine. This is the good news translation. Um, God is our shelter and our strength and always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not be afraid, even if the earth is shaken and the mountains fall into the ocean depths, even if the seas roar and rage and the hills are shaken by violence. There is a river that brings joy to the city of God, to the sacred house of the Most High. God is in that city and it will never be destroyed. At early dawn, he will come to its aid. Nations are terrified, kingdoms are shaken, God thunders and the earth dissolves. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come and see what the Lord has done. See what amazing things he has done on earth. He stops wars all over the world. He breaks bows, destroys spears and sets shields on fire. Stop fighting, he says. Be still and know that I am God supreme among the nations, supreme over all the world. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Amen. That's so good. He is with us always. Amen. He is, and he fights our battles for us, but we do need to be engaged. You know, um, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. They are mighty through God. They are spiritual weapons that we utilize, and more than ever before, the church needs to know how to wage spiritual warfare, because we are engaged in a battle for the future of this nation for the destiny that God has for this nation. The enemy does not want that to happen. He is fighting in every possible way to try to stop the move of God that is about to come. And let me tell you, God is getting ready to pour out of his spirit, not only in this nation, but in the nations of the world. And God is going to just dramatically, supernaturally do signs and wonders uh, in, a, in, in ways that we have not even thought or imagined. So get ready. Fasten your seatbelts. God is getting ready to move, but we've got to be ready. The church has to get ready to move. So do get in line with God's will, with God's word, and begin to, uh, to, to move as the Holy Spirit leads you. And uh, as I mentioned, we're not just praying for America. We pray for the nations. We pray pray for your needs. And if you have a need you want us to pray for, uh, you want to write us uh, a quick note, we will pray for that need. If uh, we get that need after the this uh, uh, broadcast, we will still pray for you. Um, so God is, is, is working. You know, uh, when you pray, and you don't see the answer immediately, you can get discouraged. Uh, but this is what the Word of God says in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 10, 11, and 12. He who would love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. God hates deceit. And there's so much deception in the world today. And uh, the prophets of Baal are prophesying on TV and radio and all over the place. But let me tell you, whose report will you believe? I 
And Nina, we're going to believe the report of the Lord. And so the, continuing on, it says, let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous Amen. and his ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. If we humble ourselves before God, if we seek his face, God hears our prayers. God answers our prayers and he will heal our land. He will heal this nation. He will heal your nation, whatever nation you may be living in. And let me just mention this very quickly. Uh, Christmas is approaching next week. Um, it's hard to believe uh, after such a long year and lockdowns yet it's coming so quick. Mm -hmm. It's going to be next week, but we want to be a blessing, not just be blessed but we want to be a blessing and if you want to take part we are sending help to uh, needy pastors in nepal we are going to do this for several parts of the world um, i don't want to disclose everything here but if you want to be a part of this uh, there are many we may be suffering here in america but it is nothing compared to what some people are going through or have been going through in various nations of the world and we get so many requests we can't uh, obviously uh, uh, do everything that is asked of us what we try to do as the lord as the holy spirit leads us and as finances permit so we want to sow into the lives mm -hmm. of so many um needy pastors and families and uh, people around the world and uh, if you want to be a part uh, do look us up on globalvisionministries.org and you could donate through uh, givelify or you could donate through paypal and you could also send a check to our ministry at p.o box 5377 El Dorado Hills, California 95762. I'm not asking for help for ourselves. We do need help, but this is to bless people in other nations of the world. So uh, I want to just say this God is getting ready to do something, but right. we need to prepare for that. We need to prepare mm -hmm. the soil for God's seeds to grow in and develop in those into those mature plants and trees so um anina i think you had something else you wanted well, to I share i just sense in my spirit that there's people watching that need breakthroughs in their lives whether it be financial or your health or covid or even you know we need a breakthrough in this nation concerning this election whatever the breakthrough you need i really feel that god's going to meet that need and you just need to keep trusting him keep standing on the word and don't lose your confidence even though the world and whatever circumstances surround you shout to you a different message remember who your help comes from. It's from the Lord. And I just want to remind you about um, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35. Do not therefore fling away your fearless confidence, for it has a glorious and a great reward. You will be rewarded. You can keep standing and trusting God. So let's pray for people who need breakthrough. Amen. And, and one of the things we talked about yesterday was not growing weary. Yeah. Uh, you know what, uh, and sowing, sowing, uh, we sow good deeds, mm -hmm. we sow prayer, we sow, sow mercy, we will reap, we will receive. Jesus mm -hmm. said, give and it will be given mm -hmm. back to you. And not just in the same amount that you give, but when you plant a seed, whether it's a tomato seed or, or whatever plant it is, you plant one seed in the ground, but you get a bush or you get a tree that produces a lot of fruit. And that is one of the principles that God is established in nature and it is not just in nature it's in the spirit realm right. it is in the realm of the financial <laughs> as well the problem is uh, when we are lacking the mistake we often make is we eat that last seed instead of planting That's that right. seed into fertile soil and allowing it to produce a harvest. Mm -hmm. And so when I say we want to be a blessing to people in other nations, we truly do because we are sowing seeds into the lives of pastors and, and leaders mm -hmm. in other nations that are reaching so many with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, so let's, um, uh, let's pray uh, for your needs right now. And um, 
Uh, some of you may be discouraged. Some of you may have COVID in your family. The Father, in the name of yes. Jesus Christ, there are different ones who have uh, written to us, who have reached out to us because uh, COVID has in some way, uh, either their family member or someone, uh, some loved one has been affected by COVID or they themselves have. The so Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I send your word to Ivy. Heal Ivy right now in Jesus' name. I send your word to Margaret, I send your word to Christina, I send your word to Sarah's family, and in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak and command you, COVID, die and come out of their bodies in the name of Jesus Christ right now. You have no power, you have no authority over God's people. Come out in Jesus' name right now. Every trace of COVID, die and come out, leave their bodies. And Father, I pray in the name that is above every name, that name of Jesus Christ. Heal, heal, heal Sarah's family, heal Margaret, heal Ivy, heal Christina, heal others who are suffering with this diabolical virus. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive your healing right now. Accept it. Begin to thank God for your healing in Jesus' name right now. In Jesus' name. Nina, do you sense any other particular need we need to pray for you right know, now? I just get the picture of, um, I know I had this before last week. Um, I see a pic, an image in my mind where you just stand up and you stomp on COVID. So if you have COVID or if you're scared that you might have COVID, stand up and stomp your feet on COVID. You know, it seems silly, but you know, Jesus in the Bible, he used mud. He spit, he spit in mud and healed somebody's eye, blind man's eyes. So this is maybe silly, but in the, in the natural, but in the spiritual, we are stomping on COVID. He is not higher than God's word. Jesus is in us and greater is he, he Jesus, who right. is in us than he that is in the world and obviously greater than COVID and any sickness or disease. So do that mm -hmm. and just get up, stand up wherever you're at. Not if you're driving, of course, <laughs> don't do that. But if you're at home someplace and you could just stand up and, uh, and just stomp your feet and tell COVID you are under my feet. Greater is mm -hmm. Jesus who is in me than you. You have no power over me in the name of That's Jesus right. Christ. No, I rebuke you. That's right. And no plague shall come near my dwelling. Amen. Psalms 91. Amen. That is the scripture, <clears throat> Psalm 91. So stand on God's word and stomp on the devil's That's work. Right. Hallelujah. That sounds like a rhyme. Well, <laughs> praise God. To have, some of you have suffered financially because of COVID. We want to pray for you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come uh, and bring to you those that have suffered financially because of COVID or maybe for other reasons. But Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, that one who needs a new job, open a good high paying job in Jesus' name. That one who has uh, suffered loss, uh, maybe they've suffered financial income in different ways, maybe rents that were due them, maybe a, a, a business income that hasn't come in, maybe it's just a paycheck that hasn't come in because they lost their job, maybe their unemployment checks have run out, but Lord, you are their source, you are our source, and we do not look to man, you use men, but we look to you, and we come to the court of heaven as we pray and father in the name of your precious son jesus christ we bring these people and lord we thank you that you want to bless them and in the name of jesus christ i break that spirit of poverty be broken in jesus name that curse of poverty be broken and devil you have no right over god's people's finances Get your dirty hands off right now in Jesus' name. And Father, by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you release your blessing and that you would fill the, oh God, you know, maybe we don't have barns, but fill the 
those wallets, those yes, pocketbooks, yes. those yes. purses of your people that are in need of finances yes. right yes. now, yes. financial yes. breakthrough, and yes. angels yes. of God, ministering yes. angels yes. of God, bring what yes. belongs to God's people into their possession right now in Jesus' name. We release you to do that in yes. Jesus' yes. name. Yes, God works yes. through different ways, and he uses angels, and he uses people, of That's course. Right. He uses you. He uses me. Hallelujah. Right. Well, there may be other needs. Maybe you're uh, just um, nothing to do with COVID, but you're just sick. Uh, I just sense someone's got arthritis. I want you to know that Jesus Christ wants to heal you right now. If you can put your hand where you're suffering with that arthritis, whether it's your knee or your shoulder, your ankle, whatever it is, uh, wherever it is, if you can, put your hand right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you cannot, just put your hand on your heart. I want to pray for you. And if uh, it is another need, I just sense God is mm -hmm. touching someone's eyes. God wants to He's heal your me. eyesight right now. Receive your healing ear. Someone mm -hmm. is getting their ear on stop in Jesus', Jesus name, name right now. So Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come, I bring these who have arthritis and I command arthritis, come out in Jesus name. Leave arthritic pain, come out in Jesus name. You have no place in that believer right now. Come out. Knees be healed. No more arthritis, no more pain. Shoulder be healed. Ankles be healed. Eyesight Come open in Jesus' yeah, name, right. both physical Thank and spiritual in right. Jesus' name. Ears be unstopped, that's both right. physical and spiritual in time. Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. The anointing of Thank God is Jesus. here. I don't know Thank if you can Jesus. feel it, but God is working. Thank hallelujah. Jesus. And wherever you might be at, just reach out to the Lord. Say, Lord, I believe your word. I believe your service. Right. I receive your promises mm -hmm. by the stripes of Jesus Christ. I am am healed That's you right. have already paid for my healing i mm. receive that healing in my life in my family in my home i am healed in yes. jesus thank name you, jesus. and you just do that you begin to thank god you begin to praise him and you put your faith into action yes. what does that mean try to do what you could not do believing that Jesus Christ has touched you. So oh, receive your healing, receive your breakthrough <clears throat> in your finances, in your home, in your family, in your circumstances. Um, I mean, I think there are people out there who are discouraged, who are uh, who, who need encouragement right now. Would you pray for those people that, that need uh, encouragement uh, right now in Jesus' name? Father, we just come to you in Jesus' name, and I just pray that you would stretch out your hands and your loving arms and your supernatural natural tangible presence surround these people that are discouraged father you give hope you give life you give life more abundantly father we just send your holy spirit to hover over them and just cover them with your holy spirit to bring them peace and calm and hope father you are the hope giver you're the only hope giver that we can rely on so right now may they feel your presence in an um, in a great way in jesus name amen Yes, Christ is our only hope, but you know what? You too are a hope giver. Share right. your testimony. Share what Jesus has done in your life, because by doing so, you are giving hope hope mm -hmm. to those who may seem hopeless, to those who may think there's no hope for me. But when they hear your testimony, when they hear what God has done in your life, that gives them hope right. that God can do the same for them. So put your faith in action and also share, share this uh, video, share uh, this prayer, the prayers here and uh, join us again tomorrow evening and, uh, and Friday if God permits. But on Saturday night, we're going to get the others joining us, joining with us, brother and sister uh, Abram, and we're hoping that Sister Marcy will join us. And we're going to be praying for America. We're going to be praying for your needs. We're going to be praying for the nations That's of right. the world. And let me just tell you, if you're watching us in Ukraine, or you're watching us in Israel, you're watching us in Cuba, or in Argentina, or you may be watching us in Russia, or, or China, or Nepal, it doesn't matter, or Africa, there is no distance in prayer. 
and God is not different here than he is in the Middle East or in, in Europe or in South America um, or in Canada or here, anywhere in the United States or Mexico. Mm -hmm. God is no different. Mm -hmm. He doesn't love us more than you or you more than us. We are all God's children mm -hmm. and his promises, his word is available to all of us. Mm -hmm. And we can come boldly before him and we can say, Abba, Father, my heaven Heavenly Father, my spiritual dad, I come to you knowing that you love me, knowing that you want the best for me, and I can come with that confidence knowing that you hear my prayer, and what did God say in his word through the Apostle John? If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us, and if we know that he hears us, we know that we have what? We have the petitions. We have those things that we have asked of him. Not we might have, we could have, maybe have. No, he says we do. It is affirmative. We have those things. We have those petitions. We have. So we ask. We ask in faith, believing. Right. And then comes the manifestation. It may come in that moment of prayer. It may come a few seconds or minutes or hours or days later but it will come when you plant the seed and that's what you're doing when you are praying, you know, there's going to be a harvest. So plant your seeds right. in God's word, plant your seeds of prayer, that's right. plant your <clears throat> seeds of mercy and love and grace, and you will see an abundant harvest because what you sow is what you reap. You don't plant tomatoes and reach, uh, reap uh, <laughs> oranges, at least not mm -hmm. yet. I haven't seen that happen, mm -hmm. but you know what? Uh, uh, what you plant, you will reap. And so right. plant good things, speak good things. And, and we read that in, in Peter here about not speaking evil, not speaking deceit. Do not repeat what the enemy wants you to repeat. Do not just keep talking about sickness and excuse me, about sicknesses and negative things and problems and, and, and things like that. Instead, talk about the goodness of God. Talk about the greatness of God. Always turn your focus, turn your attention to Jesus, the author Amen. and finisher of your faith. And you know what? That problem, that need is not going to look at that big mm -hmm. when you see how big God is in That's comparison. Right. So always turn your focus to him, not to the problem, not to the need. Okay. Um, Ania, do you have anything else before well, we close? I was just going to say that in Deuteronomy chapter 28, God commands a blessing on his people. And whatever you set your hand to, it is blessed. So count your blessings. God will never let you down. He is always faithful. Amen and amen. And Father, we just want to pray for America. We yes, pray Lord. for President Trump and his family, for all those in his cabinet. We pray for every senator mm -hmm. and every congressman mm -hmm. and women. And Lord God, we just pray that every one of our leaders would bow their knees That's before right. you and seek your face and seek your governance and, and submit to your will. And Father, we say your kingdom come, your will be done yeah. in every city, in every state, and in Washington, D.C. So, Father, we commit this nation to you, and we say, your kingdom come, your will be done. Your will be done in the Georgia runoff elections, too. In Jesus' Jesus. name, amen, amen and amen. God richly bless you. Join us again tomorrow evening, God permitting, and uh, we look forward to hearing your testimonies. Let us know what God has done, what God is doing in your life. Remember, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever.